I'm so sorry. Yes. Okay, we're selling Bob, but we're we're kind of pivoting slightly, right? As you can see, we're at the San Antonio airport. We're on our way to Missouri. But I just want to say thank you to everybody. Like everyone we run into asks us about Bob and asks us how the bus is going. And we kind of feel like we're disappointing you, but hopefully this will be just as exciting. But we'll explain in this video what we're doing and why we're doing it. So keep watching. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so new, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the perks of having to go to Missouri is that my sister lives in Lee Summit and we have to go to Sedalia, Missouri you know, to start this little pivot that I mentioned earlier. We just landed at the airport. They're going to drive us to Sedalia and then we'll show you what this is all about. the weekend with my sister in Lee Summit, Missouri, because she was so nice to pick us up from the airport and get us to where we had to pick up something very special. And now it's time to show you what that is. So here it is. <laughs> right back there. Yes, we are selling Bob because we are going to, instead of converting a bus to a house, we're gonna convert this van to a tiny home. And we have about 13 hours to tell you why, because we're about to leave to drive it home to Texas. Thank you, Kathy and Tom. You're awesome. Bye. Bye. Love you. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. We thought we'd get started with telling you guys why we decided to go with a van instead of a bus. And we feel kind of bad because there's so many people that have been following Bob and we feel kind of guilty actually about pulling up this van right next to Bob. Like we're going to be hurting his feelings. <laughs> um, but I guess it was a couple months ago, maybe two or three months ago, Steve started, he came up to me and he was like, um, I'm starting to get a little concerned that when we get in the bus, we do all this work to it and we'll get five minutes down the road and you'll start saying oh my god it's so hot because <laughs> i tend to be hot natured i'm just turning it down a couple notches is anybody else in here hot yeah that's just the way i am and on top of being hot when you're while you're driving um i the way our bus is set up, there's no co-captain's chair. So I would have to be sitting in the back and it'd be really loud. We couldn't talk to each other while we're driving really, unless we're shouting. 
So it was really a comfort factor and that started really kind of setting in. So that was probably the number one reason was comfort factor. So the second reason was mobility. And while it's funny because the first bus we went to look at was much shorter and we kind of measured it all out in our barn. We're like, there's no way we could live in that small of a space. And then we got Bob and started, you know, demoing it and everything. And the more YouTube videos we watched and stuff, we started seeing people that were going from buses to vans and just started kind of thinking a lot about how mobile a van would be as opposed to a bus and just how nimble, like even going up mountain passes and parking in parking lots. And we just kind of really like that mobility. So it's almost like we put, every, we put our thinking in fast forward because a lot of people that do buses then eventually convert to vans, we've noticed. And we kind of just did the journey in our head. <laughs> um, so that was another reason. Third reason, probably, you know, gas prices. And then I think the last reason was just mentally downshifting to small. Like I said, we just kind of did the journey in our head that most people do physically by living in a bus for a year and then downsizing. So that's why we're selling Bob. And we'll, we'll make another video that um, really details Bob and, you know, what kind of bus he is, what we've done. Because really, we've done all the hard work. That's what kind of sucks about selling them, is we've done all the demo and all the really hard, yucky work. And so if somebody buys them, they're really just getting to do all the fun stuff, the build, the build out. That's totally ready for build out. We've even laid the subfloor, put in most of the furring strips. So whoever ends up with him gets to do all the fun stuff. So right now we're just driving through Arkansas on our way back to Texas. And hopefully it won't be windy the entire way. Crossing our fingers. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. And another perk is that the van actually fits inside our barn. So that's pretty cool. We can work on it in the rain or yeah, just under cover. So that's awesome. But I'm gonna let, I realize we never told you what kind of van it is and sort of specs. So I'm gonna let Steve tell you a little bit about that. Okay, so it's a 2020 Ford Transit extended length. I think it's 148 inch wheelbase, but it's the extra length back behind the back wheel and it's the high roof. So inside we have six foot five inches of headroom inside. It's the biggest one that, biggest transit that Ford makes. Hopefully all of y'all that were following us on the Bob the Bus build will continue to watch us and come with us on this journey. And, pray and we need a name too. We don't, we don't know what the name is gonna be for this yet. Um, Bob will always be a bus, so we need a name for this. Any suggestions are welcome. Whose idea okay. was this anyway? <laughs> hey y'all, I sat down to start editing and realized that we never told you that we will put a link in the description below this video to another video that talks just about Bob the Bus. So if you are interested or anybody you know might be interested in purchasing Bob, all the details will be in that video. And of course you can look at our channel and all the videos on the build we've done so far. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.